The following is a Broncos Broadcast Network production. Welcome to the Broncos Broadcasting Network. I'm Yefa. On this week's Broncos, we take a look back at the best DHS silent films of the 2022-2023 school year. BBN News begins now. The roots of filmmaking goes back to the era of the silent film. In a time before cell phones, computers or televisions, those seeking entertainment would flock to movie theaters. Not only were the first movies in black and white, but they were also silent. This week, we look at the top five silent films created by Davenport High School's television production students this year.
We will now take a look back at the best of Yeitha from the 2022-2023 school year. Microphone! Hello Broncos, my name is Yaitha and here are the weather forecast for the next four days. On Friday it will be sunny with a high of 84 degrees and a low of 61 degrees. On Saturday it will also be sunny and with a high of 85 degrees and a low of 63 degrees. Sunday will be sunny again with a high of 85 and a low of 66 degrees. Monday will be cloudy with a high of 83 degrees and a low of 68 degrees and there will be a 30% chance of rain. That's the weekend's weather. Davenport High School is offering two field trips for college visits in addition to the virtual college tour on Friday the 21st. This visit will take place on Friday the 18th of November in Southeastern University with a required GPA 2.5 or higher and in Florida Agriculture and Mechanical University with an application for it in order to attend the tour. However, in both cases you will have to see Ms. GM in room 1-142 for more details. Our first homecoming took place last Saturday here at Davenport High School. Here's Yaitha asking your fellow DHS students their opinions about the event. We asked a couple of SGA members about their opinion on homecoming. It, would, it definitely went better than we thought it would, and we know what to do and what not to do for next time. Um, I thought it was pretty fun. The turnout was a lot bigger than we expected. Um, Overall, it was a pretty good dance, despite the struggles to kind of organize it. Here's how the idea of Fable Bash came. Well, we took ideas from everybody in the group, and then we all voted on which one we liked best, and then we made it happen. Um, we had like a drawing board, and one of our students kind of thought of uh, like the SeaWorld shows and the kind of um, the bubbles that they have, and that's kind of what we ended up going with. HS's homecoming court has also been announced after a week of candidates campaigning. Katie Hernandez and Marisol Mendoza were the winners of the first Davenport High School homecoming court. What are your thoughts about homecoming? I think it was really fun and a great time. What was your favorite part about the night? Um, well, I went before and helped decorate, so I really liked going in and seeing what I did and what they did to make this night look really special for everyone. What were your thoughts about Homecoming? I really liked Homecoming. I felt like they could have done a little bit more with the space that they had, but overall it was, it was pretty okay. What was your favorite part about the night? Um, the stupid little challenges that they would make like everyone do. Those were kind of funny. <laughs> what were your thoughts about Homecoming? It was pretty fun, pretty hyped. Uh, all the kids dancing and stuff like that, it was pretty fun. I liked it. What was your favorite part about the night? Uh, probably the dance competition was pretty cool. Everyone cheering and stuff like that. So that was pretty fun. I like that part. I'm Yaitha Moreno and this is Broncos Broadcasting Network. Hello Broncos, my name is Yaitha and here's the weather forecast for the next four days. This weekend is going to be partly cloudy with a high of 85 and a low of 66 on Saturday and a high of 83 and a low of 69 on Sunday. On Monday it will be also partly cloudy with a high of 84 and a low of 68. And lastly, on Tuesday, it will be cloudy with a high of 81 and a low of 69. And that is the weekly weather report. Back to Evan. Last week, the culinary students had the honor of catering a business gathering at the Sunshine Foundation in Davenport. Community representatives expressed that they were very impressed with the work of the DHS students and the culinary arts program that we have. Alexa, Joss, Madeline and Jacob are the first members of the Bronco Vista to build community relationships. Please congratulate them for their excellent work. Even more testing is coming this month. Here is all the information you need to know with Ms. Unin. So for the month of February, um, we're just going to be looking at any students who have not met that graduation requirement for ELA or algebra. Um, so these are mostly going to be our juniors and seniors. So the biggest thing that you need to do is make sure that you are checking your school email at least once a day um, so that if you get any emails from me regarding where or when to report to testing, you know where to go. And as always, when you come to testing, you need to make sure that you have your charged laptop and you bring your charger with you so that you are properly prepared. When it comes to testing, um, all of your classroom teachers should have a list of who is testing and when and where. And if they don't have that list, you can always check in the um, lunchroom because there's a list usually posted in there as well. 
My office is in the media center off of the testing lab, so if you ever have any questions, you can stop by and see me. This is why testing is important. Testing is important because it allows us to see where you guys are academically, and um, you know from there we can see how best to get you guys to where you're going, um, be it mathematics, English, um, industry certifications. It gives us a baseline for you to help you. This is how testing affects our school. Uh, our school is affected in you know some some different ways. You know, school grade um, is a big big component of what we what, what you guys do as far as testing goes. Um, and again, uh, you guys test, we see how we can help you, and it helps our school. I'm Yaitha Moreno, and this is for BBN News. The boys wrestling team went into Arundale over the weekend to compete every, every school in the county. With eight of our boys, we were able to make Davenport known, with four wrestlers finishing in the top seven and two winning medals. Talon Wirtwick, a sophomore, finished his first year at Davenport with 30 wins and 10 losses, and finished second in the county. With a record of 30 wins and 10 defeats in his final season of high school wrestling, Gabriel Pujara finished third in the county. Andy Romero, a sophomore, has a record of 24-13. Jacob Rosa, a sophomore, has a record of 22-13. And Joshua Mason Jones, a freshman, has a record of 19-11. Time for wrestling's future appears promising. Hello Broncos, I'm Yaitha and this is the weather forecast for the next four days. Saturday will be partly cloudy with a high of 89 and a low of 65. Sunday will also be partly cloudy with a high of 83 and a low of 57. Monday will be sunny with a high of 83 and a low of 58. Lastly, Tuesday will be partly cloudy with a high of 84 and a low of 59. And that's the weather, see you next time! Flag football season has started. We're excited to see how our team continues to play on the field. Now to Yaifa with more with the team captains. For the first time ever, Paul County has added a new sport, flag football. This is where our team thinks about it. Um, I feel like it's uh, going pretty good. I like it. Um, yeah. Um, I feel good about it. I feel like the sport brings a different type of player out of me. I mean, most of the players, they'll act different outside of the field, but when they come inside the field, it's like a different type of athlete that you don't normally see. Um, I feel good. Our team, um, been the first um, girls flag football team here at Davenport. Um, I think we are um, slowly coming together. Um, They're becoming a, a family oriented team. Um, and it, like it was said before, they're just a different athlete when they get on the field um, than they are you know, outside of the field and in the classrooms and things like that. So I think inside of the lines, we talk about it all the time. It's it's all business. So it brings out like the the best and the competitive nature that they already have. It, it just comes out forcefully. Um, I enjoy it and it's a really good new sport to be playing. Our team is right now two and one and these are their expectations. Um, to keep winning games and uh, to get better. I want everybody as a team to get better. And yeah, <laughs> I have very high expectations, especially because we're the first flag football team on this school. I just want to make history. So as far as we can go. Um, my expectations is that we win all the rest of the games and we win districts because we're the best in Polk County. It's all we talk about. Like there's there's nothing else to um, to, to gain for them. Like, what are we doing if we're not striving for that? So that's yeah, that's the expectation to go. Um, I expect us to keep getting closer as a team and to bring home a championship. On Friday, March 10th, the flag football team is having a game against Arundale. These are their thoughts. I'm actually very excited. We're going to get all our girls back. So Arundale, I just hope you're ready to get all 25 of us. That's all. Arundale has um, some good athletes, so it's going to be a good game, like Haines City. But I think we can win. It's, it's, it's going to be a good one. Um, we, we've already seen them when we were down playing in, in Tampa at the Bucks uh, showcase. Um, it's going to be competitive, but our girls are just different. Like they're they're built different when they when they get on the field. Um, and if you ever seen us play, like they our defense is is you're not going to get a lot. You know you're not 
offensively against them. Um, do I want it to be close? No, um, but I think it'll be a it, it'll be a very good game. But of of course, uh, Lady Broncos will come out on top. I'm excited to see how our defense and offense is going to work, and excited to see how we handle the game situation. Just like any sport, they are appointed captains to the team. JV, Katie, and Marisol were chosen to be captains, and they're trusted to bring so much needed leadership to the team. This is what some of them think about being the captain. Um, I feel that is a really good experience, and I'm super happy about it. And um, yeah. Um, I feel like it's very fun, and I love all the girls on the team. And um, I feel like it's a very, like a family-oriented environment. So I enjoy playing with them. I'm Yaitha, and this is for Broncos Broadcasting Network. In 1987, March was designated as Women's History Month, and this month we highlight the contributions of women to events in history and contemporary society. Now to Yaitha with more information. The celebration of Women's History Month grew out of a week-long celebration of women's contributions to culture, history, and society organized by a school district of California in 1978. A few years later, the idea caught on communities, school districts, and organizations across the country. In 1980, President Jimmy Carty issued the first presidential proclamation declaring the week of March as National Women's History Week. Six years later, the National Women's History Project successfully pensioned Congress to expand the event to the entire month of March. The Women's History Month is not an international celebration, but the International Women's Day is March 8th, which is celebrated as a focal point in the women's rights movement, bringing attention to issues such as gender equality, reproductive rights, and violence and abuse against women. What does Women's History Month mean to you? Um, I think it means like a month to celebrate women and all their accomplishments and just like appreciate them in general. I think it's important because it's giving us the credit that we deserve because I have a single mom. So I think it's good to highlight and appreciate women because we honestly do more than men, no shade. But I feel like, I don't know, women are powerful. So yeah, that's it. Um, you know. Women give life, so you know, if it wasn't for us, y'all would not be here. It means basically like freedom, because like for all this time, like from even like back then, like we weren't even allowed to vote, we weren't allowed to have jobs, we weren't allowed to like do important things, and now like we're being able to do like more important things. We get appreciated and noticed for things that we do, um, so yeah. I think it means it's a month, so you know. Be appreciative of all the women in the world. It means empowerment and being respected and appreciated. El Día de las Mujeres es un día muy especial porque es el día que se honra a las mujeres, ya que las mujeres son muy especiales en esta vida, porque prácticamente hacen todo en, en la casa, ayuda y demás. Y nada, las mujeres son un son son alguien para honrar ya que son muy especiales en esta vida. Mm, like showing appreciation to like women because you know without us you would not be here. So like you know empowerment just like that. I'm Yaitha and this is for BBN News. Davenport High School offers a lot of different sports to join. This year's tennis season is up and running. The team is currently eight and six. Here's Yaitha with more information. The girls' tennis team has an upcoming game on April 6th against Rich Community High School, which is our, also our senior night. Overall, the season has gone very well for the Broncos, and Coach Keen stated, Our girls have worked really hard this year. As a second-year program, we have already won eight matches. This shows how our girls are hardworking, have effort, and desire to improve. Let's go down and ask a couple girls about the season. I felt the season has been really good. We've all been working really hard to improve and to practice as much as we can. Um, I felt like this season has been pretty good. It was my first season playing tennis at DHS and I really enjoyed it. I've had rough times but good times as well. Esta temporada ha sido mucho mejor que la pasada. Nuestro equipo está mucho más fuerte y bueno, estamos esperándolo todo para el final. 
Coach Keen has stated that he has a confident mindset about districts by stating, even though we're in a tough district, our girls will work hard and do their best. As a coach, that is what I hope for this season, regardless of the results, as long as they have fun and improve. That's really what matters. I feel good about districts because I feel like we've been working a lot. We've been working really hard this year and learning from the mistakes that we made last year and we're ready for districts. Uh, I'm excited for districts. Um, I've never competed before until this year and I'm ready for to see how the environment is, the competitive environment, so I'm ready. Bueno, tenemos unos districts muy duros porque tenemos muchas escuelas privadas que son de buen nivel. Y bueno, esperamos hacerlo, dar lo mejor que, que podamos. There have been many improvements observed by the coach, Satan. Our girls have improved in terms of serving for hands and backhands. Technically, they are understanding the ball placement and how to play angles. As a team, they're the closest bunch I've ever coached. We've all got a lot better and more consistent with our hits and our serves because we've been you know, practicing every day as a team and we've been made a lot of improvements. Um, me personally, I was very like insecure in the way that I played and I feel like along the way, I've grown my confidence in playing tennis and now I hit the ball harder and I make it in most of the time and I'm very proud of myself because of that. Bueno, desde el principio todas hemos mejorado nuestra movilidad, hemos mejorado también como equipo, nuestra comunicación, todos hemos mejorado en cada nivel de, de todo. I'm Yaitha and this is for Broncos Broadcasting Network. You don't have a mic? Hi guys, so it's April Fools. Exactly, you have to follow me. Okay, All right. we'll do it again. Hi guys, so it's April Fools, so we're here lunch break with Evan, let's go. On Friday, April 21st, the Media Center will present Poetry Power, where students can submit their own poems. Here's Yaita with more information. For the second year, the Media Center is doing an activity called Poetry Power, where students can express themselves with poems. Then, the poems will be read and it will create a fun environment. Hi, yes, um, we hope you come to our Poetry Power during your lunch on Friday, April 21st, and you can submit original works of poetry before that day by using this QR code or by depositing in this box right here, uh, physically in the Media Center. So they can be original works of art. Um, if you have a favorite poem and you just wanna come and read it out loud, that's okay as well. But please come and participate, and again, you can submit your poems in advance if you um, do not want to uh, have anybody know, if you want to submit anonymously, that's the word. If you want to submit anonymously, you can do that in this box right here. Uh, and that, that way somebody else can read your poem for you. And you can come and listen and watch other people's faces while somebody else reads your poem. The purpose of the activity is just to share in the joy and love of poetry and um, we do have some poetry books here as well in the library to kind of get your juices flowing so to speak. Um, so we just want to share poetry and have everybody have a good time and we will have a few um, little um, you know you snap when you like poetry and then we'll have some little eggs um, that you can shake to express um, uh, if you like a poem. I I'm really liking it this year. This year has uh, a different meaning because there's a lot more people going. Um, you could do whatever it is that you want, so you write freely, and it's really nice. Last year, since it was starting, um, many people didn't really want to go because they didn't know if there was going to be people there. So more than half of the poems were submitted anonymously, and we just got to read them. This year I expect for more people to show up, less anonymous um, poems, so hopefully that happens. Um, to me it is a very good time to try and find out what you're into and trying to develop more of your sense of personality. Um, I would try and make it more diverse and not just have it kind of be what you like. Just try and make it how you would feel and flow from your heart. I'm Yaitha and this is for BBN News. Please help contribute our fundraising efforts for our Freshman Academy. The Freshman Academy is attempting to obtain accreditation for the following year. And your funding will enable us to buy crucial resources for our curriculum as well as incentives and awards. They are offering Little Caesar pizza kits that can either get delivered right onto your door or make an in-store purchase. If pizza isn't your thing, they also have breadsticks, kits, cookie kits, etc. 
This fundraiser will end on May 18th. Scan this QR code for more information. Next week's schedule is different. Monday, May 1st will be a regular odd day, 1, 3, 5, 7. Tuesday, May 2nd will be Alter Bell schedule, 1, testing, 3, 5, 7. Wednesday, May 3rd will be a regular even day, 2, 4, 6, 7. Thursday, May 4th will be Alter Bell schedule, 2, testing, 4, 6, and 7. Friday, May 5th will be a regular odd day, 1, 3, 5, 7. As our seniors wave goodbye and head on towards their futures, our staff gives them some tips for the future. Here's Yaito with more information. Our seniors are leaving very soon. They have many options to choose for what to do for their future. These are going to be very important years and we all wish them the best luck in all their decisions. But before they leave, some of our staff wanted to give them some advice. I would say it's important to stay focused in your classes. Make sure that if you need to um, access any of the resources like tutoring, make sure you do that. Um, I would say make sure that um, there is always going to be a time for playing and having fun, but make sure you know to get up and get to your classes on time if that's what you choose to do on your weekends. Just be true to who you are because you'll have lots of new opportunities and lots of new freedoms and some students take advantage of those and don't stay true to who they are, but just stay true to who you are. Continue being you and um, continue to make new things and keep working hard. Well, um, I think some of the best advice that I was ever given when I graduated was make sure that you're thoughtful about everything you're doing. Think about others. Um, when you're thinking about college or whether you're going to a vocational school um, or if you're just going to go get a job and start working always treat people the way you want to be treated and more importantly um, you know do your best to help others first and when you do that when you put other people first good things always happen to you i would say the journey is just beginning continue to work hard and be true to yourself uh, the advice i would give to seniors is stay in touch with your high school friends. I'm still in touch with mine after 40 something years. And also travel as much as you possibly can. I'm Yaitha and this is for the Broncos Broadcasting Network. On May 2nd, DHS hosted the annual Polk County ITV award ceremony. Some of our students earned an outstanding rating for their commercial, which was a public service announcement on the social media addiction. Now to Yaitha with more information. The commercial was a public service announcement focusing on social media addiction. Please congratulate our senior Cassie McNulty and freshman Trey Rickett, Victoria Tillman, David Diaz, and Audrey Peralta. How did the idea of the commercial came out? We didn't have a specific idea in mind. We just needed something done for the class. We didn't know that he was going to put it up for nomination at all. We knew that PSAs normally are super dramatic, so that's what we chose. Um, me and my friends usually just improvise on it, but my friend Victoria usually comes up with the ideas. Um, how do you feel about being nominated? I think it's a really cool experience, especially since it's our first year doing it, and a lot of the kids in the group are freshmen. So it's crazy that something that we did this year could actually be a part of something else bigger. Um, I feel good about it, but me and my friends were all surprised when we first found out about it. And are you planning on staying on TV production for the rest of your high school? I'm doing TV production as my academy for the rest of the year, so hopefully I'll do it all four years. Yes, yes I do. Do you like it? Yes, I do. So what do you think about um, Davenport High School being nominated for the ITV Awards? Um, I think uh, our first nomination, it's, it's very cool. Um, can't wait to see what Mr. Shigaris and his team, they do next year. Looking for more. 
um, nominations in different categories. They're building a, a strong program. Um, just really excited for the future. I'm super excited because you take a look at this core group of five that end up coming out with this PSA, and four of them are freshmen. So to be able to have that type of excitement from our younger classes, I mean, usually it's the older grades that end up getting an award like this. So it's so key and critical that it came from our freshman base, which lets us know in the next few years we might be actually winning one of these for overall. And how do you see the future of Denver High School? I mean, the future is as bright as it can be. Again, you have these freshmen, as long as they stick with it, knowing what they know now, they're just going to continue to build and build and build, and it's going to be outstanding to see what they do in future years. I'm Yefa, and this is for BBN News. Hello, Broncos. I'm Yefa, and this is your weather forecast. On Saturday, it will be party cloudy with a high of 82 degrees and a low of 65. On Sunday, there will be a chance of an afternoon thunderstorm with a high of 81 and a low of 66. On Memorial Day, it will be cloudy with a high of 86 and a low of 67. And finally, on Tuesday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 89 and a low of 70. I'm Yaitha, and that's your weather. Hi guys, so today in lunch break, we're going to do last lunch break of 2022-2023, second chapter of Davenport High School. We're here with Evan. Hi. And here we come, Minecraft Evan. Thank you for joining us for this week Broncos news. I'm Yefa. I want to say thank you to my parents and my host family and all my friends. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>